Yeah, everybody loves the Hellcat, and they should, because it's fucking awesome. If you can't afford a Hellcat, there are other challengers that you can afford. There's the lower trim RT, and that car's tons of fun, and we've shown you that with that lime green scat pack. Maybe you want a little bit more, though, than the 5.7 Hemi, but you don't want to jump all the way up to 707 horsepower. And I can't blame you. That car can be intimidating, so you should still try it at least once in your life. This, though, is the car for you. This is the 2015 Dodge Challenger. It has the 6.4 liter or 392 cubic inch Hemi engine. But see this scoop sticking out of the hood? This is the shaker car. So it's a throwback to muscle cars of yore. Additionally, this is also the scat pack car. So this has a whole lot of names behind it. But what it is most importantly is shit loads of fun. So Dodge is back with another round of the shaker, and that's a good thing. Dodge does a pretty good job of playing up its heritage, its history. It, it knows what people like with the brand, and it plays towards that. And that's fine, because it's a pretty awesome heritage. Some of the finest muscle cars ever made come from the Dodge and Chrysler camp. I'm a big fan of them. One of my favorite cars of all time is the 68 Charger. It's on my must-own list, and I will get it someday, hopefully, we'll see. But for now, in the modern era, it's nice to have a touch of the past with that big-ass engine under the hood. So the idea of the shaker hood, uh, if you go back in history, it was a way to get air into those massive engines that needed lots of air. It's called a shaker hood because it mounts directly to the engine and it shakes. At least it used to shake. On those old cars when you fire them up and at idle, shaker hood's moving, you can see it right through the hood. It looks pretty badass. On the modern car, the funny thing is, is that the engine mount technology is so much better that the damn thing barely moves. I mean, I'm at idle and that thing's solid as a rock. So the great thing about this car, besides its nod to the past, is that it's basically tons of power and performance for not Hellcat money. Hellcats are expensive. They're 70,000 plus if you can find one that hasn't been marked up. This car starts at the high 30s, low 40s. This one is pretty nicely equipped at 46. So it's not cheap, but at that price point, it's kind of keeping the idiots out. Uh, anyone can afford and then crash a Mustang GT. Very easy to do. This one though, you might get a buyer who understands what he has. He's a little bit more mature. Um, clearly though, that's not me. Oh man, that engine note. The exhaust on this car is absolutely fan-fucking-tastic. I said the swear there. It needed to be said. It, it, the car deserves it. Now you can have your 2015 Challenger, Scat Pack, Hemi, shaker with a six-speed manual gearbox, and that's the way I prefer it. This car, however, has the ZF eight-speed, and this is a fantastic eight-speed. If you're gonna be saddled with an automatic, this is the one that you want to be saddled with. And I shouldn't even use the word saddled because it's actually a pretty damn fine gearbox. It changes gears quickly. Uh, it's, it's nice if you're just out cruising. Oh, this car is so much fun. Sorry, Irvine. Um, you need, a little bit of, you need a little bit of Hemi in your life. This car's so easy to get sideways, keep it there, make smoke show. But if you have traction on, I have it in sport right now. It'll give you, it'll give you tons of slip, uh, but it'll also help you not be an asshole. Well, I should take that back. I'm definitely being an asshole, um, but I'm being an asshole with a little bit of control. This car is a giant toy, is really what it is. 485 horsepower under the hood up front. Tons of torque. Even with this automatic gearbox, it's just an absolute blast. It's, it's a real muscle car in the modern day, and that's a great thing. 
with the right song playing, just cruising down Pacific Coast Highway in Huntington Beach where I live, which I'm not at right now because I will get arrested there. This, it just, it feels so right. It looks so good. This is the type of car that puts a smile on your face, be it at 15 miles an hour or 150 miles an hour. 150 miles an hour though, it might turn to a uh, pucker. Now one thing I don't need to do because you've seen it all the time is talk about what's going on on the interior in great depth. You've seen the performance pages, you've seen the great seats, these ones say shaker on them. You know what's going on here, you've seen all of this stuff. Wonderful, huge screen, easy to see. I've got heated and cooled seats, I've got tons of surprisingly premium to luxury amenities surrounding me. What's most important about this car though is how it drives. It's got excellent suspension, it's damped nicely, even though, you know, it's a heavy car, you can feel it. But as I've said already, toss it into a corner and use the throttle to power your way to glorious fun, and this car is happy to oblige. You don't even need to have traction all the way off. I don't, I'm in sport mode. Uh, so traction is reduced, but it's still there to catch you when you screw it all up. Another great feature of this car are its big brakes. Big car with big power and big speed needs big brakes, this car has them. And the brake feels good. The steering feel is nice and heavy, perfectly weighted for a car like this. You can adjust all this stuff too. Another thing that I like you can adjust is launch control. Yes, you can change the RPM based on the conditions and tires. So you can set the ideal launch rev limit for launch control. They know, Chrysler knows who wants to buy this car and they know who they're catering to and it's basically all of you watching this. So save your pennies and you can buy one of these because this shit don't come cheap. This is like what you graduate to after you've spent 10 years in a, in a BRZ. <sighs> Let's turn those fucking ventilated seats on, brah. It's getting hot out there. So take off all my clothes. Blah, 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 blah. Looking out over the hood and seeing that shaker induction sitting right there in the middle of the hood, it's just so, oh, it just moved a little bit. I take it back. I just saw it move. Um, it's like feeling a baby kick. Oh, did you feel that? This is, this is the automotive equivalent of smoke them if you got them. This car is way too much fun. Like I said, giant toy. It's a $46,000 awesome toy. That was my crib, thanks for watching.